you know, we just looked at the numbers right before hopping on this call. So year to date, we've generated 150 business opportunities through the YouTube channel alone and roughly a little bit over one per day. We're, we're generating a lot of, a lot of business opportunities. My team has met with 50 of those and we're actively showing 25 clients and none of these leads are under a million dollars. They're all usually within that one to two range. So if I had to put a, if I had to put like a, a dollar figure on it, I, I want to say somewhere around probably the 30 to $50 million mark uh, right. in terms of actively showing. Hey guys, I'm super excited to introduce you to Danny Gould. This is an amazing interview. He's going to walk you through from his origin story of how he got started to where he's up to with this 150 leads year to date. And so you're going to hear the call to action. You're going to hear all the trials and tribulations. Now, for those of you out there, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that for me. It's a big favor. Hit the notification bell if you want to follow along. And last thing is if you are someone who is into video, into YouTube, and you want to talk to me a little bit about coaching, I'm looking for more agents who really want to dig into content marketing and education to be able to grow and expand their brand and build a big business just like I'm doing with Danny Gould. So love to chat with you a little bit more about what you're up to and how I can serve you. All right, guys, enjoy this. This is a good one. I'm super excited. I got Mr. Danny Gould from Selling Silicon Valley TV, who is one of my rock star YouTube celebrity agents. And today we're going to talk about building a team with YouTube lead generation. So Danny, thank you so much. I'm so excited to, to share all of what you've been doing with everybody out there. So why don't you take us through a little bit about kind of your the beginnings of YouTube and then where you're at and let's get everybody up to speed before we dive into some of the details. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I, I got to say that a, a lot of my success on YouTube would not have happened if it weren't for you, Patrick. So I, I really have to thank you and I'm very grateful for, um, you know, our, our journey together. Yeah. And um, yeah, so in 2014, I got my license. Literally the next day I turned the camera on, said, my name is Danny Gould and I'm selling Silicon Valley. And it all started from there. I had a personal YouTube channel, blog channel. Uh, I was inspired by a lot of fitness bloggers at the time to start like a real estate blog channel. And I, I uh, posted on and off for several years. And then once I made a good amount of money, I, I decided to reinvest some of that into a videographer in 2017. We experimented uh, a lot of failed experiments. I got to say, I, I spent easily six figures in, in videography fees and equipment and all this stuff with uh, really nothing to show for it because my goal was to make cool videos. My goal wasn't really to generate business for myself. And I think that's really where the disconnect was was looking to be a cool guy. I wasn't really looking to make money on YouTube. And the problem is, is when you do that, it's a, it's a money pit. And so you start to really, uh, you know, it's, it's like ebbs and flows where like, I'm, I'm, my real estate business is supporting my YouTube addiction Right. where, uh, where that, you know, honestly, at some point I just decided like that wasn't really working for me. So I had to part ways with that videographer and that was in 2018. I basically spent a year, year and a half, not really doing a lot of YouTube. And then we met. And when did you start doing all of those housing market videos? Because when we met, you had a lot of housing market videos, though, and you had a good flow there. When did that start? Yeah, well, I started doing those, I want to say it was the beginning of 2019, actually, where okay. I started to do them consistently. I had done housing market videos, you know, on Facebook Live, just kind of like pointing and shooting and, and rambling for a couple of years, but the consistent market update videos, I started in 2019 and it was just kind of like by accident. I, I was like sitting on my ass one day, like early 2019, like with no, with nothing in my pipeline. And, uh, I was like, dude, I got to stop being lazy. And so I started just making a video and that's how that started. But I, I was lucky enough to have a, a broker at the time who was heavily into stats and was, had educated me for the last five years. And so I understood them at a high level and could communicate them. And that's how it started. And I had already started the Selling Silicon Valley TV channel, which was a not the same channel that I was posting the blogs on. Mm -hmm. So I think at, at that point, I, I started posting those videos on, onto that channel, like yeah. early 2019. Yeah. And so for, for context, guys, when I met Danny in coaching, he had a ton of these housing market videos on YouTube. And I remember looking at these stats, we were looking at the this YouTube studio and I was like, whoa, you're getting a lot of views. And I was so confused. I was like, you're good. The content's really good. And I asked you like, how many clients have you created? And you're kind of like, I don't know. And then I said, well, what's your call to action? What are you offering people? And you're like, well, you know, no, no, no. And so let's take people from there and then let's get into the details to help everybody out. 
So where are you at yeah. now, right now on YouTube and what your forecasts are for YouTube as a lead generation platform? Yeah, totally. So, uh, you know, we just looked at the numbers right before hopping on this call. So year to date, we've generated 150 business opportunities through the YouTube channel alone and roughly a little bit over one per day. We're, we're generating a lot of, a lot of business opportunities. My team has met with 50 of those and we're actively showing 25 clients and none of these leads are under a million dollars. They're all usually within that one to two range. So if I had to put a, if I had to put like a, a dollar figure on it, I, I want to say somewhere around probably the 30 to $50 million mark uh, right. in terms of actively showing right now. Um, and last year we closed 10 million from YouTube. I think this year we, we, I'm hoping to do about double that. You know, it's been a very unforgiving market for buyers and yes. generally most of the, 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 the leads that we're, that we're getting from YouTube are, are buyer leads. Yeah. And, and for those of you guys out there that don't understand, you know, uh, Silicon Valley, the Bay area is one of the most difficult markets to get a buyer offer accepted in the entire country. Like it's within the top three most difficult environments. So, you know, for this platform to be generating that many opportunities, for you guys be showing that much prop showing that much property, this is going to be very exciting. And mm -hmm. we're just working on conversion models. So let's dive in, man. So what was that? Your call to action on your housing market videos was brilliant. And that was all you. I just told you to figure it out and you did, and it was spectacular. So could you share a quick little bit about, you know, how you built your call to action in and how that worked? Yeah, so uh, obviously Silicon Valley, high analytical techie area, most home buying couples, I should say, uh, at least one of them is an engineer here in the, in the Valley or has an engineering background. Right. And so data speaks to the consumer here, uh, probably more than in most other parts of the country. Agreed. And so this call to action might not work for someone in a different part of the country. It works here because everyone wants to know data and everyone wants to know stats. So my market update videos are very usually very heavy on stats, but at the beginning of every video, and we tinkered with when to do this and everything, but after experimentation, we figured out kind of like that one to two minutes in, is like the best time to do it. Yep. Text data to this number for, you know, if you're a home buyer in today's marketplace, you're looking for a comprehensive data set to assist you in your home buying decision-making, you can text the word data plus uh, the area, the neighborhood, the zip code that you're looking in, and we'll send that information straight to your inbox. That is essentially the call to action that I came up with. And I'm sure at the beginning, if we go back to the videos, it wasn't, it was something a little bit different, but that's the current iteration of it. Yes. Yeah. And so people are texting you. So for guys out there, that's what his definition of a lead is, that they're texting that number with all this information going straight into a CRM. So mm -hmm. that is brilliant. So 150 of those leads year to date with this plan. Now let's talk the next step in your journey, because you're not a solo entrepreneur doing this. You're building this for a team as a long-term asset. And so one of the things that I really respected about how you viewed this game was you built a team to support you in getting this content done and managing the platform. Can you talk a little bit about some of your hires and some of your trials and tribulations with building the, the group to support you in creating lots of content here? Yeah. So, you know, I had a videographer that I, that I let go in 2018. So I, I had no, uh, no one kind of managing that, but then really all of my videos, I, I shoot myself. Like I have a, a, a camera here, tripod set up and it's, yeah. um, it's a lot of money, uh, but you can do it literally with your cell phone. If you're just starting out, I would recommend that. Right. First I hired the editor and I was still managing the YouTube uploading and everything myself. Well, that I, I realized was just not scalable and also a, a really poor use of my time because honestly my time is now worth like over $500 an hour. So like, why am I going to like spend time like typing yeah. into YouTube, like all these like little things. So what I did was I hired a content manager. Her name is Callie and she's freaking brilliant. Yes. And I found her, uh, on, I believe it was indeed. So I just put a indeed post up. She came in and originally what's funny about that is I hired her to write scripts for the lifestyle videos that we were looking to kind of expand the YouTube channel into the lifestyle portion of it. And so I hired her as a local recent grad who knew the area really well to assist me in creating scripts mm -hmm. uh, around, you know, the lifestyle of living in Silicon Valley. And so that's how she kind of came into my ecosystem. Right. I was still doing all the optimization on YouTube and we've you know used a lot of tools like TubeBuddy and VidIQ and all that stuff. Right. So, um, but then at one point I was like, hold on a second, like, why am I doing this? Right. And then that's when I, I went to Cali and I, I said, Hey, listen, um, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Right? It's going to be like, I do it. Then, then I watch you do it. Right. And then you do it by yourself. Then I check it later. So we, we kind of did that whole thing. And nice. it was probably like a two to three month handoff, mm -hmm. but she got the hang of it super quick. And the funny thing is, is that, you know, um, my optimization would generally get a score of, I don't know, like 
she was scoring way higher than I was basically on the optimization. <laughs> so she did it. She was way better at it than I was. And I was like, okay, well, this is how I know I got to let it go now because like I've trained someone and they're now better at it than me. Right. Uh, and a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that is, uh, yeah. So that's, that's how we got to this point is she does the optimization, the uploading. She actually checks the videos to make sure that they're edited properly. She also does like a double check to make sure that the CTA met the number matches up. So she's the optimizer and she, creates the posting schedule as well and she's kind of gone on to do the instagram stuff for us and the linkedin so she's doing everything for us now but she started off as just writing scripts and then evolved into that yeah so you were heavy in the data set and that's what we mastered first between data the data called action your email marketing is really solid you have a big database mm -hmm. right and then then we bridged into this lifestyle stuff the living in the moving to and the buying in and so talk to us a little bit about that big project, because that's the big project that everybody's working on right now is how do we create all of this lifestyle content, living in, moving to top neighborhoods, and to build a huge portfolio of all of the cities to try mm -hmm. and drive traffic. So talk a little bit about what's been happening with that, because you had an interesting hiccup in this process as well. Yeah. So what... Yeah, a hiccup is, is a good word for it. So last year around this time is when I decided to go all in on the lifestyle stuff that uh, that we had talked about. And, and actually, it was around that time that I stopped doing the snapshot videos, the, the ones that had, had really gotten me to where we're at right now. I don't remember how it happened. Maybe I st started doing the lifestyle and then eventually let go of that. Yeah, the I lifestyle, think I told you to slow yeah. down the data set because you're doing it weekly with multiple right. cities. And I was like, put that aside for a second. Let's get to work on this other stuff. Right. And, and we did. I mean, I, we did a lot of lifestyle videos in a very short amount I think, of time. Yeah, I think you did like two per city name probably right two to three per city name and you probably did like 10 or 15 cities in a short window of time i want to say it was more than that dude yeah. honestly it was like it was like i think it was like 20 or 30 cities in the bay area like there were a lot of cities that we covered yes um, and we did lifestyle videos for all of them we come it was up probably like with, two to three videos per I think so yeah. yeah yeah almost none of them had just one video almost all of them had like multiple videos yeah and that was over the course of six months yeah and then callie did, helped you with all the research and the scripting of the living in the moving best neighborhoods and lifestyle stuff right yeah exactly so she helped with the, with all of that stuff. And so you also I had just, team members yeah. helping you shoot those videos, correct? You, you mean like starring in the videos as yes. well? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we experimented with that. What I, I came to realize is that not everyone is as comfortable in front of the camera as I am. I would be open to featuring team members in videos in the future, but like there'd need to be more of like a checks and balances than before. It'd almost be like you have to audition for it kind of thing. Cause like yeah. it, we had just... Yeah, it got to, it, it, we shut it down real fast. Like we tried it and then we shut that down. Okay, but cool. We do, but we do have a couple of videos with team members on there that were good. And so, uh, cause we were investing a lot of resources in shooting videos that never made it to YouTube. Cause it was just like, not good, not good. Not good, not good. Yeah. So. so guys, you'll see on his channel, you'll see some different players covering different cities, right? Again, cause Danny's goal is to build a huge portfolio and a big team in the Bay area. So it's not for him to be the guy. Right. So this is very important in the context. You guys, there was a moment where Danny came to the call and he was kind of pissed off at me because I pushed him on all this lifestyle content and all of a sudden all of the stats and everything started to die. So could you kind of shed some light on this, what happened in this window of time and kind of how long it took before it turned around? Yeah. I, I, by the way, I, I don't think I was ever pissed at you. I was just kind of, I was confused because I there's a little bit of irritation in there. <laughs> sure, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Um, but for me, it was confusion because the, the numbers didn't match up. I had way more views on the lifestyle videos than I did on the data videos. And yet the lead count, like just, I mean, plummeted. I don't even, it wasn't even like 10% of what the snapshot, it was just, it was garbage. And that was in August of last year, actually. So it wasn't yeah. that long ago. Yeah, you're up to like 30 leads a month and then it dropped down mm -hmm. to like two or something. Two, yeah. It was, it was, it was weird. weird. Yeah, it was really bad. And, um, and, Around that same time, though, I, I you know, I, I watch a couple of the other YouTube channels, real estate guys, like the Channel Junkie guys, uh, yep. who are pretty smart guys, really do a good job on, on YouTube. I, I was watching it, and like, if you didn't watch it, you never would have caught it, because like, maybe 20 minutes in, he was like, honestly, all of our, like, all of our channels around the country are garbage right now. They took a, a, a nosedive. So what was interesting is like, oh, wow, like, it's not just my channel. So that kind of reassured me. It's not just my channel. Maybe there's something happening in the market where, like, all of a sudden, like people aren't looking or they, I don't know, but it wasn't just my channel. So that kind of gave me some reassurance yeah. that like we were going to be okay. Yeah. So yeah. then all of a sudden it started flying back up. What is the projections that you're looking at now based upon your CSU analytics, your team growth, your channel growth? Where yeah. do you see this thing going? Well, it's interesting because if you asked me a year ago, I, I actually gave a talk on YouTube. I, I 
gave everyone uh, just kind of like a, a brief outline of where I wanted the channel to be by the end of this year. I was posting one video a week and I told them by the end of this year, 2022, I wanted to be at 10 videos a week. So I basically wanted to 10X my output because my belief was that by 10Xing my output, I would 10X the lead flow. And as I started to scale the videos up and I was getting less and less leads, what I realized is, is sometimes less is more. Like it's not always about like like putting out like tons of content. Because yes. I, think, I, I think that while there are a lot of people who have proven in the space, uh, in the YouTube space, that that more videos equals more attention to the channel. Right now, what I'm really focused on uh, is lead generation. And so we, we dialed it back to really just one to two videos a week now. Mm -hmm. And we're getting way more leads, way more business opportunities. This is building a, a, a pipeline for us now that, you know, last year it did 10, this year it does 20, then the next year it does 40. And then it, I really think that this could be a, a scalable model where, uh, and you know, I, I told you this, where, you know, right now, I think I have around 23, 24 team members on, on my team. And so we plan on being at 2x that by the end of 23. And so I honestly feel like our YouTube channel alone could could feed a team of 50 agents uh, if done the right way, with the right systems in place, the right uh, you know lead nurture, the right uh, ISA team you know following up with the leads. Like obviously, like the way that we have it set up right now, I don't believe that's the case, but I do believe that it we absolutely could get there. Yes, 100%. Super exciting. <clears throat> so any lessons learned for the teams out there? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of teams that are looking at this project, trying to figure out how to map this uh, for their team. Any best practice, best advice for team leaders out there on getting this project off the ground and getting some results? Yeah, so the, I've made every mistake that you could possibly think of, I've made. And I would say for me specifically, because again, like my call to action is is unique. So we have a ISA team. So we had to train them on like, hey, this is how you talk to the, the data clients because it's different than than you would talk to like a, a Zillow lead or a, or the you know a Realtor.com lead. These these are different conversations, at least at the beginning. Yes. The the close is pretty similar, but the but the beginning is different. And so just number one, whether it's an ISA or your team members are answering the leads, like who have, they need to be trained on how to have the initial conversation with them. Yeah. And then number two is what are the, the nuances in the buyer consultation that we need to know, uh, that we need to kind of inject into our YouTube leads that we don't necessarily have with other lead sources. Right. Because they're coming in for a specific reason. Mm -hmm. We got to give them what they want, which means right. we have to educate them. on. So we have like a, a weekly stats class specific to teach agents, not just how to read the stats, but how to convey to the client, like, this is what's going on with the market right now. And, you know, essentially educate them on, on the conditions. And yeah, it's funny because like, whether the market's up, down or sideways, most people, if, if their intent is to buy, they're going to buy. Yep. But giving them that knowledge, it, it just provides them reassurance that they're working with someone that knows their shit because that's really what they want. Exactly. And so for us, it's like, there's so many ways to convey that because you know, not only are we educating them on 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 how we're going to help them win in this market and, and all the off market opportunities we're going to get for them, and this is the buying process, and this is our team, and blah 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 blah. But we're also saying this, these are the market stats, and so we're also you know adding a, an additional layer of, of authority uh, onto okay. our onto our consultation. So you know, just making sure that whoever's answering the phone knows how to lead them to the promised land and get them to sit down because we have a thirty three percent conversion rate from lead to uh appointment set that's 150 inbound leads 50 sit downs uh, or appointment set that's really good because you got amazing 50, 50 50 of those people don't even answer their phone right? right so of the of the 100 that are answering their phone half of them are saying yes let's meet so knowing how to get them there is is key and then also the nuances in the consultation uh to kind of layer a, an additional piece of authority or like you know layer the authority on top of yes the consultation structure Exactly. And yeah. just, and really in my mind, it's, it's earning the loyalty of that client. You're my team, you're my real estate group. You guys are going to help me. And whenever that is, whether or not it's tomorrow or, or the next year, it's yeah. brilliant. And you just want to remind everybody that those leads, they weren't free. YouTube yeah. leads aren't free because there's time invested and, you know, some infrastructure invested, but we're not paying for it. We're just, but we have to invest our time, our energy, the trials and tribulations of building a channel that has a long-term significant value. So it's very exciting. I'm, all I know is I can't wait till you can say, hey, I've made a million dollars from my YouTube channel. And I don't, <laughs> I see that happening very quickly. I, uh, I, I see it happening uh, uh, 
pretty quickly here too, Patrick. I mean, I, I don't know if it's going to happen this year, but but definitely, I believe that 23, uh, we could very easily hit that number. Uh, one last thing I, I forgot to mention here, and I don't even know if I should be saying this, but it's an experiment that I'm doing right now is because I'm not talking to every lead, but they're the, they're seeing my face practically on every video. So what I've been doing is is filming a very quick video once they meet with our agent for the first time saying like, so they're seeing me again and it's, and it's a personalized video. So it's like, you know, Hey Raj, it's Danny Gould with the Selling Silicon Valley group. Uh, you've probably seen me on YouTube and I'm so excited for you to meet with, with Billy. He's one of the, the best members on my team and, and he really knows the San Jose market better than anyone else really. And so, that yeah, so I awesome. send that to the, yeah. And that re-enrolls them back into it because, you know, I'm the one in the video. They just talked to this guy, Billy, who they've never like met in their life. And, but now I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know, like yes. uh, backing him up, right? Yes. Um, so yeah, that's something that we've been doing and to try and you know up that conversion. I think that's amazing. That's great. And, and again, guys, I think this is where, I think this is where the bomb bomb type of tool is really mm -hmm. the winner, right? You know, so this is, you know, I think that's fantastic, man. Hey, congratulations on all your success. Thank you for sharing, you know, your journey on YouTube with everybody out there. We all look forward to seeing you getting to that million dollars and beyond with this platform. And so, you know, guys, reach out to Danny if you guys need anything. If you have any referrals, people moving to or leaving, you know, the Bay Area in Silicon Valley, you know where to find them. And so, Danny, thanks so much, man. I got to roll. Have an awesome one. Thanks, Patrick.